Hello, Aries. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Aries is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. If there's anything you would like me to pray over, or meditate upon, or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Aries, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And this is the Prince of Pentacles. This is the Builder. So um, I feel like you have already gotten something going. I feel like you're in the middle of something, right? Um, you're in the middle of a very long day of construction. Yeah. Uh, you're building something up. You're building toward a future. Right, so whether this involves maybe saving money, maybe uh, putting in effort, uh, putting in time, um, whether this is literally constructing something, I feel like you're immersed in that, okay? And I feel like you're committed to it, and I want to see some more about it, right? I want to see where it's going, I want to see what you're building, and, and why, really. Well, we've got a Three of Cups. There's the Nine of Pentacles, very good. Five of Cups, interesting. Empress, oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting something that is very revealing. Let's see what else we have. The World Universe card. We have kind of this water, 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 earth, 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 right? I think what you're building is a life that is full of more joy. Now, maybe this involves a career change. Maybe it involves, maybe you're like literally building a house. But the reason why you're doing it is because you don't want the five of cups, but you do want the three of cups. That you've been through a lot of loss and disappointment, and you're ready to maybe make up for that, right? Water, water, and even this empress, kind of some water energy. We have earth, earth, and even the universe is some earth energy, right? So we feel that there is a correlation between the, uh, the work that you're doing, what you are building, whether literally or figuratively. There's, there's a correlation between what you're building and the degree of happiness involved, the degree of satisfaction. Um, <clears throat> the, the more that you build, the more infinitely you dream, right? The bigger this is, the better it feels, right? Let's see what else we've got. We've got the moon. We've got the devil. We've got one of your power cards, the knight of wands. That's fire on fire. Right? And finally, we have fire and air with the knight of swords. Interesting that these two kind of seem like they're clashing a little bit, right? Because this, uh, your power card here, this is sometimes rather impulsive. Okay, this is an energy that is just rushing forward, right? That the horse and the rider completely trust each other. That you and, you, you know, your conscious mind and your will, your impulse, your energy, your fire are completely trusting, right? We've got to trust each other if, if we're going to be able to go this fast. Um, this kind of energy that rushes forward in this very confident and committed way is meeting a little bit of resistance from your conscious mind. It's almost as if your rational mind has to swoop in and say, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get carried away, right? Let's bring it back a little bit, okay? It's kind of like you're pulling yourself over for speeding here, right? If you look at these two cards. And I think that it's, it's important to have um, that capacity to pull yourself over when you, maybe you're going too fast. You know, to hit the brakes a little bit, to slow down, to be able to check yourself before you wreck yourself, right? And I think that this is perfect. This is really, these are, the, these are good, good energies to have because the rest of this, it feels so good here. The rest of these cards 
are so amazing that if we were to end with this, then this is kind of out of control. And this is the, this is the obstacle. This is kind of the false, the false ending of the tarot reading, right? We have all of this. This is so good. The more you do, the better it feels. The better it feels, the more effort you put into it. This is, you've learned the secret to having a good time, right? To having a good, productive, satisfying, joyful, blissful life. The threes are the understanding. You understand the correlation between the earth and the water. That alone is amazing energy. But then over here, you have these major arcana cars, the moon, you have that devil. Um, and this is really um, climbing this mountain, not really knowing when to stop. Going a little bit too fast. Maybe, we're, maybe we are rushing a little bit. At the end of the day, at the end of the tarot reading, if that's what we're left with, this is wildfire. Okay, so we got that nice law enforcement officer to come in and slow us down. Right? We're getting a little bit carried away. That's an okay problem to have, right? This is so good that you feel this tremendous enthusiasm. You don't want to stop. You don't want to give up. You don't want to go in for the night and have dinner and rest and put your feet up and take a hot shower. You just want to keep at it. And that's good. Keep that energy. Also, pull over when you see the lights and, and hear the sirens, right? Take that time for yourself. And that's also part of this Empress energy because this is supposed to be a joyful experience. We're going from disappointment and sadness to intense joy and even bliss, even this kind of utopia feeling. Right? Well, this is very, very good. And it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be something you enjoy doing. I'm kind of looking at these cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six. As the internal workings of either the Nine of Cups or the Six of Cups. Maybe it's the Six of Cups. Maybe this is what, if we were able to peek inside of the Six of Cups, I wonder if this is what we'd have. Well, let's select the mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. Maybe this will be the Six of Cups. Um, and maybe this will uh, confirm all of this for us. We're going to put that mystery card right here under Robo Duck. I can't remember if we ever named Robo Duck. That is the factor infinite and unknown. Right? And we're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together and give us the confirmation at the end of the reading. Uh, if at any point during the reading you feel like you know what that card is, I want you to put your prediction down in the comments. We're going to do it together. We're going to make it a group exercise of intuition. I think it's a good practice to get into to start working out that intuitive muscle. Yeah. The more we do it, the better we'll get at it. Okay. Now. Let's take a, another look here. We see that we've got our major, 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 major. We've got our four major arcana energies. We've got fire. We've got water. We've got air. We've got earth. Uh, I think we've got a pretty good balance of things, right? A pretty good balance of energies here. Um, the, the, the moon energy here is really fascinating to me because this is kind of... Um, one, this is an energy that's, it's talking about a really big change in your life, right? Significant. You're on the threshold of something really, really big. And yeah, it's, it's cosmic. It's universe big, right? Um, but there's, uh, there's not exactly a detailed, finalized plan. It seems like all you really are aware of is just kind of, three feet around you, you know? We're just operating right here, right now. This is what we're doing, right? And tomorrow will be tomorrow, but today is today. So with this card, it's almost like we're not really concerned about the uncertainty of the future. We're not so concerned that I can't see more than three feet in front of me. Don't need to, because this three foot radius is absolutely perfect. And in this moment in time, this three foot radius of time and space is perfect. And you are doing the exact right thing right here, right now. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Tomorrow is tomorrow. So I feel like this, 
This really is a snapshot of what's inside of either a six or a nine of cups. I don't, I don't think it matters which one. When we take a snapshot of it, it's a six, right? But in its functioning, it's a nine. Because this is the functioning. This is doing what you're doing, enjoying what you're doing. It's like you have this feeling of correctness. You know in your heart that what you're doing is right, both for you spiritually as well as in the 3D world, right? The nine of pentacles down beneath everything. For this 3D world, you're making progress. You're building something that is coming together. It's growing. It's being built, right? You can see it. You're not just hammering away all day and then days later there's nothing to show for it. You know, you're, you're doing something productive, but at the same time, this is kind of a, this is a byproduct, right? This is an, in, this is more of a secondary consideration, right? You are being very productive, yes, but the real benefit is in the three of cups, in the joy, in the bliss, in the, in what you are creating, not in the physical 3D, but a plane higher, Right? When we think of the, the emotional plane, what you're creating on the subtle realms is even more significant than what you're creating in the physical realm. Okay? So the details of the physical realm could change. Maybe you're building a house, maybe you're building a school, maybe you're building a hospital. Um, it doesn't really matter so long as this Three of Cups is there. And that's kind of the, the point of a Nine of Cups. I'm wondering about that mystery card now. I'm thinking either six or nine of cups, for sure. This is the satisfaction and the joy and the bliss in doing what you're doing. This is the why you're doing it, the how you're doing it. With love, with bliss, with focus, with this spiritual connection. It doesn't so much matter what you're doing. But it does matter that you, Prince of Pentacles, are showing up every day and doing it. Okay. You're doing something that is meant to improve the lives of someone or something. Maybe uh, multiple people. We do have one, two, three court cards. So there could be, could be coworkers, family members, friends, you know, that this is also benefiting. Maybe you have this, this job, this big project, and you're, it's, it's providing work to other people, maybe. Maybe what you're building is, is, maybe you are building a hospital, right? Or a school or a home or something like that. But it's something, between the five and the three, it's something that's meant to alleviate the suffering of yourself and others. This is our goal. This is our purpose, right? This is why you're building what you're building. To transcend the circumstances. To improve the quality of life for yourself and others. To alleviate suffering for yourself and others. You're trying to create what I think some, I don't know, um, professors or something would, would call a utopia. But this is a personal utopia, right? This is not a life without problems, but this is a life that is meant to help those that are, that are here with us, right? As part of this purpose, like I said again, to improve the quality of life, to alleviate suffering, to transcend whatever circumstances we find ourselves. So we're striving for this kind of, it's a paradise, really. You know, it's the ideal world that we're trying to create for us personally. And we have to know what this, what this ideal world is. You know, communal living, if it's living in harmony with nature, living close to nature by river, a lake, forest kind of thing, living off the land. Um, if this is just living in harmony with other people in your life, you know, everybody does their work, produces what they produce, and then we share, we exchange, you know. Um, I, I feel like you have something like this in mind. And this could be happening just inside of our house, you know, just with our little local family here. Everybody does their part. And together we grow, we thrive, we flourish, right? This is, a, this is a venture wherein the more you put your effort and energy, the more you get back. You take care of it, it takes care of you. Everybody helps each other, right? It's an ideal world. 
And maybe it's just happening locally right inside the walls of your, your own house. Yeah. But then again, we've got the Universal World card. I feel like there's larger implications here. I feel like, one, what you're working on will be completed soon. Within the next few months, this building will be built. But it's by no means is it the last building you're building. Um, and again, it doesn't matter what the buildings will change. But the well is the well. The water is, is always going to be there. right? So even when this project is done, it doesn't mean the work is over. It just means this particular house is done. You can now go on, build the next one, or now you move on to the school or whatever. I do feel there's something here for healing, though. I, I'm almost thinking more of like a healthcare, hospital, medical thing, or some kind of uh, uh, rehabilitation, or maybe it's some energetic healing, crystal healing, Reiki, um, acupuncture kind of thing, right? Something along those lines, I feel. I feel like your work is to restore people, to make things whole again. Yeah. Uh, the universe card is also kind of, it's, it is talking a little bit locally in a way. To me, this feels like you're, you're finding your little corner of the universe where it could just be you and your people. Maybe you are interested in a secluded house somewhere near nature, near some water where you can kind of live off the land and, you know. So I feel like you're carving out your place in the world. But I feel like what you're doing, as you raise your consciousness, as you, as you do this work, you're, you can't help but inspire others to do the same. As we raise our consciousness, we are raising the collective consciousness. As you alleviate suffering for yourself and your loved ones, let's say locally, you are, by extension, helping the rest of us alleviate our suffering. We're kind of we're just raising the bar for consciousness. You know, and I feel like you're you're right at the forefront of this kind of work. Yeah, and it might not exactly be work in the three D world, right? It could be more subtle than this, but I feel like there is something in the three D tangible, physical, material, mechanical world that you are working on, that you are building to completion. Okay. And I think that this is, is going to be basically finished up pretty soon. And I think it's a project that you're in the middle of. You know, When we have the Prince of, of Pentacles, it seems like, yeah, you've been building this for a while. You know, that you've been committed. You've been showing up every day. You've been setting the, the example, setting the standard for others. And uh, you're building something, a particular project. You're building the barn, right? But it has much higher, deeper implications than that. Okay. Let's go to the path of the serpent because I'm really curious about this, about this moon card because again, I feel like we don't really know a long-term goal. We don't have a set plan, a set course of action. We don't know step by step what's going to happen tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day. It just feels like this three foot radius. I can only see kind of what's right around me right now in space and time. So with that, there's not much of a connection to the past either. There's nothing that's kind of holding you back. You feel like just a ball of energy right now that is infinite, that is in the eternal here and now. It's not being dragged down or slowed down by the, the past, you know. It's not being... Um, pulled forward too fast by the future either. You're right here, right now, doing what you do. And it, it's, it seems like it's, um, it seems like you prefer it this way. You know, it seems like you're operating better without a, without like a, a predetermined or defined long-term goal. I just know right now what I'm doing is meaningful. In, in more ways than one. It's meaningful. It feels right. I'm connecting with it. I'm enjoying it. It's helping people. It's helping me. That's all I need to know. That's all I care about right now. Yeah. But this is something that's, for some reason, I feel like it's putting you on the map or it's giving you this recognition or it's going to be something that other people are going to see 
and try to emulate. Yeah, you're you're a role model of some kind. Okay, um, we see the devil in the position of the environment. The devil connects us with the earth energies, but also has this element of fire. It has this element of tireless work, of climbing, 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 building, 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 <coughs> and never getting exhausted. This is an act of creation that is, um, again, kind of cosmic in scope for you. But as it leads us into this pure fire energy, we realize that the fire fueling this goat is a finite uh, fire. It may be, you know, a renewable resource, but we've got to go renew it, right? We've got to be able to take our breaks and slow down. Um, I feel like as this infinite ball of energy in the infinite here and now, there's no thought of the past or of the future. You haven't been doing this for 20 years. You won't be doing it for 20 more years. You've just been doing it now, here, forever, right? And so there's this feeling that it's never going to be exhausted, that I, I won't run out of energy, that I have all the time in the world, you know? And um, I feel like here in the 3D, in the physical world, it's going to start taking a toll on your energy and your vitality. So part of that Empress energy here is, is to remind you that you've got to take care of yourself. Remember, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get back. If you take care of it, it's going to take care of you. That goes for ourselves, too. That goes for our physical bodies. You know, uh, we've got to take care of the temple, right? And I think that uh, that's kind of what the rational mind is doing at the end of things here with that knight of swords swooping in and your, your mental energy saying, wait a minute, mm -mm. nope, go back to bed. Right, doctor's orders, go, go take a nap and drink some water and have a snack, you know. Um, obviously, I'm not a medical doctor. This isn't a medical reading. But I think it's good common sense. And maybe that's what this is, common sense swooping in to say, mm-mm, no, you're burning the candle at both ends. You're running yourself ragged. you got to take a nap, you know, got to freshen up. Um, and, and so what you're doing feels that there's this commitment to it. It feels that it is, it does have such higher or deeper implications that you may be unintentionally kind of sacrificing yourself for this work. Yeah. Whether it's a family thing, a business, it could be a relationship, I don't know. It could be, maybe, maybe it's romance. It could be. It's kind of become a running joke on this channel that, um, you know, there's never really a, a love reading or a romance reading on this channel. Well, every reading that I do is a love reading. I don't know if you knew that. And um, I think that love and romance plays a part in our lives, whether we like it or not. I think relationships play a part in our life, whether we, we like them too or not. Um, so with the devil card here in the position of the environment, have you been isolating yourself from your loved ones? And it, it kind of feels like we're doing all of this for others, for the world. But are we connected still with others? Are we connected still with the world? Because the goat, the devil, is kind of a solitary creature, right? Wants to do it by themselves. You're busting your butt with this, but... Remember, with this water energy and with that empress, you've got to enjoy the fruits of your own labor. You've got to connect with those very people that you're doing all of this work for, right? So remember your relationships. Take some time to reconnect with your people, okay? I think it's a good idea. Let's look at this mystery card. What is RoboDuck doing over here? What is what is Robo Duck sitting on? Um, maybe a maybe a six or a nine of cups. Huh? I think that would be I think that would be good. I want to see some kind of energy here that's talking about the nourishment. That's talking about your um, your self care. Really, you know, you got to treat yourself. Maybe it'll be another empress. If you have a prediction, put it down in the comments. Let's see what we have. Oh, the death card. Well, um, don't don't get scared. Don't I heard you gasp? 
don't don't do it. Um, yeah, this this is kind of an extreme thing that hey, if you don't take care of your body, right? If we don't eat and breathe air and drink water and get rest, what's going to happen, right? Obvious. The tarot is usually not that obvious, right? Um, but I think that's an important message too. You know, sometimes the scare tactic works. Well, you better drink water or else what, guess what will happen if you don't? That's not what this card really is about, though. This card is more about this long-term transformation. And kind of the idea, too, that you're building something that's going to outlive you. The death energy. This is that infinite here and now that I was talking about. You've got birth and life and death on either side of this particular energy. Life is flowing through this. Birth and death. Death and birth. Birth and death. This does not move. This is the infinite here and now. This is that infinite space between, that moment between birth and rebirth, right? Between life and death and death and life. This is something I think that it's a legacy for you. Creating something that will be here even when you are not. Making an impact, making a, even if it's not, maybe it's not like a library, right? It's going to be there for 100,000 years, whatever. Um, we hope anyway. No, it's maybe not something like that. It might not be a building. You're not building the pyramids. You think it'll be there for 10,000 years. This is having an impact on other people. And that impact will live on. You know what I mean? That you, you're doing something that is meaningful for everybody, not necessarily building a hospital, have your name on it, no one will forget you. Maybe you are doing that, sure, but that's not the point. The point is you affecting other people in such a way that your spirit will live on through them, through their actions, through the people that they influence. You could be a teacher here, right? You could be a healer. Maybe you're teaching other people to heal. Leave me some comments. Let me know what some of this is about, if you feel like sharing. We're going to do an extended reading as well. If you want to stick around, Aries, click up here or down there. Uh, new readings for Aries every Monday and Friday, 6 a.m. Chicago time. I am here every day. You can come see me again tomorrow. I'll probably be wearing the same jacket. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It doesn't cost anything. Um, I'm starting to make this announcement in all of my readings lately that I've decided to... Drum roll, please. Uh, I'm going to quit my day job. Uh, after 15 years, I finally decided that uh, I need to devote all of my energy and my focus and all of my time here. Uh, on this channel doing these readings. So in the next few weeks, a lot of things are going to change. One, I'm building a new studio. Of course, my wife is helping me. She has her own channel. She's building her own studio. Uh, she's over at Ula Tea Leaf Readings. That's U-L-A Tea Leaf Readings. Uh, so we're doing the new studios, and that's a, that's a project. We also have other ideas um, for our channels, I want to start doing more of these readings. I want to have a, actually another channel where I focus more on the education side of things. Yeah. I also have uh, the Bedtime Story channel, Dove and Serpent Bedtime Stories. I hope to be able to, you know, allocate a little bit more time to that channel as well. There's a few videos there already that you can check out, subscribe if you haven't yet, uh, and listen to those stories. I'm just kind of getting a feel for it. I'm not really sure what the formula will be yet um, but uh, you know that's one of the many things that we want to do so a lot of fun things in the work uh, in the works it happens at a strange time because as soon as I kind of tell my employer that I'm going to be leaving and I put in my notice you know it's the responsible thing to do YouTube starts being kind of weird with the algorithm and now my my videos are not getting pushed out to as many new people as they used to be. So right now it's very important and I, I'm humble enough to ask for your help here to watch the videos all the way through. Hit the like button, leave a comment, share the videos on other social media platforms, uh, and subscribe if you haven't yet. These are really the best ways for you to help out the channel. And you know, I want to I want to be here for a long time. I want to keep doing these readings and uh, I want to keep building this community. 
you know? And I really do feel that you are the most important part of the community. All right? I thank you, and I love you. And we're all in this together.